Hey guys, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a nice day today. And today I'm going to be talking about all about my hair. And I apologize so, 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 so much for not uploading a video in like three weeks. It's all because of exams and you know, I always put school first on the National Honor Society. I like really have to do that now and I want to stay in there. So yeah, and now school is out and I'm going to be focusing on getting a job and on my YouTube. So yeah, that's what I am planning to do and like that's what I upload in like three weeks. So yeah. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about all about my hair and like I've seen these videos on YouTube a couple of times and I just want to like do one because like everybody always asks me about my hair and like what I why is it so curly and just a lot of questions that i am willing to answer in this video it's kind of like a q a but it's not because i just like google the questions from my phone and like just remembered questions on the top of my head that people mostly ask me about i really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe down below and also like this video okay and never me rambling and talking so much and let's get started so the question i get mostly asked about is is this my real hair girl boy everyone yes it's my real hair like i don't know why people ask me that like well i can't understand why because i be seeing in the beauty supply stores and stuff like they have like kind of like wigs that are like this type of hair like, texture and look and stuff so i can't understand why in a way but yes this is all my real hair like i don't have time to like make it look like this like it runs in my family like on my mom's side and it's naturally like this so yeah this is all my real hair the second question that i remember off the top of my head that i mostly get asked about is like is this like my natural curl pattern like i think this that was the question like is this like my natural curl pattern and of course yes People always ask me like, do I do a twist out or something like twist my hair? Well, part it and twist it and like in the morning I'll like untangle it and I'll be like this. No, 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 this is all natural again. <laughs> and yeah, it just runs in my family. Okay, now I'm gonna answer questions that I like Googled off of and like people would may ask me. So I'm just gonna answer them on this video. When was the first time I got my hair cut? The first time, oh my God. <laughs> The first time that I got my hair cut was in fourth grade and I was about like 10 years old and oh my god, okay. A little story time. Tell me why. My mom, like I think we had a strainer but it like didn't work or broke or something. I don't know, or she couldn't find it. So she found this strainer that she had like back in the day and it was like an old fashioned one. Like oh my god, oh my gosh. Okay, it was an old fashioned one. And you can like it took forever to straighten my hair before that i had to get a blowout so it took like oh my god like 12 hours like i'm so serious like i'm not even lying like it was like an old-fashioned strainer where you have to like heat it up like you have to plug in something and you have to put the strainer thing in it so it can like get heated and like oh my god it took forever that's what i'm just about to say it just took so much time and at the end of it it still got like frizzy like it got so frizzy it was like looking all short and it's supposed to look long and it was all getting wavy easily i was like uh-uh no mm -mm. so when i was about 10 years old and i was in fourth grade that's the first time i ever got my hair straightened and that was the first time that i got my hair cut too so it was already like like it was supposed to be like long but it was like shorter than it should be you know so yeah, it was like a bad hair experience back in the day for me. When was the first time I got my hair colored and highlighted? <sighs> I never got it colored, that's the first thing, and I never got it highlighted. The only time I'll ever like put any chemical in my hair is when I start seeing gray hairs. And I'm like really protective when it comes to like my hair because I don't want it to be too frizzy. I don't want it to lose the curl pattern. People always tell me that I should straighten my hair and stuff. I'm like, no, cause like I'm so protective of the curl pattern. Like it's already like going away little by little. Cause my curls used to be tighter than this. Like used to be like, like super tight. Like now it's like, I never dyed my hair or did anything to it. But like I would dye it. Like when I start having gray hairs, but I feel like I would dye it like a blonde, but then I wouldn't because you have to put bleach in it for like to get the 
blonde and it's gonna make my hair super frizzy then i have to put so much moisturizer in it it's just gonna be too much but i don't know we'll see how the future goes so the next question is one hair product that i can't live without okay gel like oh my gosh this has saved me a lot like when i run out like a certain hair product this comes in like really i use it no matter what though but this is like a good backup if like i run out of a certain hair product and it won't make my hair as frizzy and like it'll control the frizz too and this is my favorite one i've been using this since i was like three or something i don't know but when i was like really young and it's the queen heleni heleni queen heleni sculpt sculpturing gel and glaze um gel so yeah i really love this gel i really recommend it and like i don't know why my mom gets the eight one like it says eight on here and like i would like it to go up to 10 but i don't know but this is my favorite hair product that i cannot i like really cannot live the next question is what is one hair product i regret buying <laughs> i keep like these questions are yay to me because i hate okay oh the thing oh okay. One hair product that I regret buying. Ugh, okay. Okay, first of all, before I answer that, people always ask me, do I put grease in my hair? No, I don't put no type of grease in my hair. Like, this involves this question, okay? So, what is one hair product I regret buying? Okay, the brand Pink. Like, it's like a grease oil type of thing, like in that pink bottle or something. I don't know, I hate that. Or what? Like, I have to, like, use something like that is meant for curls you know what i'm saying like that is literally meant for curls not just to like comb it or anything it didn't even really comb my hair it just made my hair like real frizzy and made it like look straight i don't even remember but i just remember hating that product so much okay so the next question is what color hair do you want to dye your hair next well i never dye my hair so if i would want to dye my hair oh this is hard i would want to dye it like a lighter brown or make it like have some blonde highlights in my hair i really don't know because i like the like i like my hair the way it is i really wouldn't change it really unless it's like the frizz like i wish it was like less frizzier but then like i feel like it wouldn't be my hair if it wouldn't like wouldn't be frizzy so yeah i just love my hair basically okay, this is like the sex question but what is the next hair product that i really want to buy well the next hair product that i really want to buy I would like to try organic stuff but like they seem so expensive and like when i see like something that's organic it'd be like this small it'd be like 25.99 i'm like uh, girl like are you serious for that like no i wouldn't no but if i was like rich or something hell you would buy that i would definitely buy that like i would like to try anything that's organic like i don't know but yeah that's what i would want to try the next question is what do i think about extensions and would i ever put any in my hair or any sewings or anything any type of weave basically okay what i think about extensions is that they're very handy especially if you don't have a lot of hair or anything like that or you just want more volume in your hair but I, the way the only time i would use extensions is when i have my hair straightened because like i already have too much hair like i don't i don't have time to put like weave in it you know what i'm saying so no, I wouldn't put any extensions in my hair unless my hair is straightened. But one thing I always want to do with my hair is like wear a wig. I cannot like stand straightening my hair, so I would like to braid my hair and put a wig on, like that, like like a straight wig, not like a curly wig, cause that would make, that would make no sense. Like I don't, I don't know why I just thought of that. But anyway, <laughs> I'll like use a straight wig so I don't have to straighten my hair because I don't want the curl pattern to go away because ever since I straightened my hair last time, I swear my curl pattern has like gotten looser. I don't like that. I don't like that. I really don't. Oh, extensions. I can't stand like extensions where like I would like it for it to be real hair, by the way. Real hair. I want to say it like that. I would like it for, for it to be real hair, not coarse hair like I don't know much about weave or anything, so yeah, I just, I kind of prefer, I kind of don't. Do I use any vitamins to improve my hair? No, like I should start taking vitamins though, just for my health, since I'm a diabetic and stuff, type 1 by the way. And yeah, I used to take vitamins just like when I was younger, because I think you have to take vitamins when you was younger, but 
yeah that's all i have to say about vitamins and the last question that i found on this website is who is your hair idol well i really don't have a hair idol like there are some girls on like tumblr or something that have like really curly hair and stuff maybe it's weave i don't know but i really don't have a hair idol i guess just like my hair the way it is all i know is that i want to like want it to be healthy for a long time and stuff like that okay since there's no more questions on the website i'm just gonna talk about like random things what i use in my hair but not well not what i use because like it's not curly hair routine video or anything just like other stuff tips and tricks so yeah and i'm sorry if i keep looking over there because i have a mirror right there and i don't have a viewfinder and like i'm just trying to make sure how i look on the camera so yeah but combs that i use on my hair is this like these two combs and the first one i'm talking about is this one and this is like an old-fashioned comb like i don't know where i could find a metal comb like this i really don't like it's like like it's kind of broken because like my grandma used to use this and my mom used this and i use it so this is like a third generation comb or wide tooth not wide tooth rat tail comb or something i think that's what it's called but yeah i like it because it don't like i don't know like these type of combs works for curly hair i feel like Cause like I used it to comb like, like just to part my hair too, like to make it half up, half down. Like it's good for styling. So yeah, I really recommend this comb if you have curly hair. And the next comb I mostly use is this comb. This is like a second generation comb. Me and my mom use it all the time. And I love this comb because I use this in the shower when I um, untangle my hair. And oh, I also almost forgot. I'll have the link down below for um, my wash day hair routine if you want to like know about it. Or I'll just put it up here somewhere. Like, like up here, down there, somewhere. But yeah, I use this comb to detangle my hair. And it works really good. But people say like it's not good to like detangle your hair when it's wet. But I do it when it's wet because it's like so much easier and it's like less frizzy. Well, it's not even frizzy at all when I do it but yeah this i'm clumsy Other questions i always get asked about is have i ever put my hair in braids yes i have like i have pictures but i just i like don't feel like getting them it's like so far away yes i have braided my hair when i was younger well my mom braided it not i but like she used to like put them in corn corn rolls or whatever that was called and like she put like she used to put weave in my hair like just one time like so she can try it out and like see how it works and i hated it like i don't know the like the weave was like so long and when i wore jackets it used to get stuck on the jacket things so it, like it's stuck it'll pull my hair and it'd be so annoying but yeah i have got my hair braided before i have had to put weave in my hair before but this is all when i was younger ever since my mom started letting me do my own hair when i was around fifth fourth no fourth sixth grade and stuff I really didn't really do anything with it, just put it in a ponytail. Okay, tell me why that when I was younger, I used to put my hair in a ponytail, right? And I always seen girls like have their straight little ponytails and stuff like, dang, I wish I had straight hair. Oh, I used to want straight hair so much. Like, I don't know why. Like, I feel like it would be easier for me to do my hair. That's why I always want straight hair. But yeah, anyways, back to the topic. Um, I always like put my hair in a ponytail and I always used to straight in a ponytail. Even when my hair was wet, I could have killed myself. Like, that could have been, like, suicide and I didn't even freaking know. So, yeah, I used to do that. It used to be so nappy looking. I don't know why I did that, honestly. Like, I really don't. I just, like, I, I think I was trying to fit in. This was, like, in sixth grade. I'm sorry if this video is, like, going, like, into different topics and stuff. Like, I feel like I'm talking too fast and then I feel like I'm not. That's why I don't really like talking in my videos because I'll, like, jump from topic to topic and go bad they will be all confusing okay i just realized that for the whole time basically that my camera angle is like kind of crooked or sideways or something and i'm so sorry about that and i really do not want to start over on this video because of the camera angle so i think i fixed it like i really hope i did like i'm so sorry it was like that okay one question that i realized i forgot to talk about is that what cut what type of haircut do i have the type of haircut i had in a way was like a diva cut and it kind of grown out so it's not really a diva cut like it is a little but i don't know i didn't cut my hair or trim it since last year and my mom cutting my hair and she's a cosmetologist too by the way so i think it was the diva cut she said or some type of other cut but it would have like a lot of layers in it and it made it look all pretty delicious and stuff if you have any questions about my hair please comment down below 
and don't forget to like this video and subscribe i hope this video wasn't like too much for you guys of me talking and stuff because i really never like talked to you about my hair until in this video like just talking wise not like showing but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i love you guys so so much and thanks for watching bye